What's up Star Wars fans, today we're going to preview The Bad Bash Season 2, Episode 1 and 2. That's right, we get Episodes 1 and 2 this Wednesday, January 4th at around 12 a.m. Pacific, 3 a.m. Eastern, and 8 a.m. GMT. These two episodes reportedly have a runtime of 47 minutes, and the title for Episode 1 is Spoils of War, and Episode 2 is titled Runes of War. Now, some reviewers have been able to watch the first four episodes of the series and describe these episodes as intense and dark. And I'm sure what they mean is that these episodes are going to have very dark and intense moments. But hey, before we get to the episode one and two predictions, let's take a look at the overall feel of season two. If season one of The Bad Batch was Clone Force 99 just trying to survive in the galaxy on their own, then season two is really them digging themselves out of debt to Sid and then moving on to take the fight to the Empire. At least that's what I get from the main trailer. That said, this this isn't a preview for the entire season, it's a preview for episodes 1 and 2. I think it's pretty easy to tell that episode 1 of The Bad Batch Season 2, where the Bad Batch are running a heist job, is going to start with the footage that we see at the beginning of the main trailer, in which a small army of giant crabs are trying to chase them down. And as per usual for Season 1 of The Bad Batch, Clone Force 99 will return to Sid, giving her the goods, at which time Sid is going to reveal to them a major mission that could buy their freedom, get them out of debt to Sid, and well on their way to independence in the galaxy. And I think the title of episode 1 is a big hint as to what they're going to be tracking down for Sid. The title again is Spoils of War, so I think Sid is going to be sending the Bad Batch off on a mission to get some Separatist or Republic tech. We know that during this time a lot of that technology is just being trashed or being recycled into new Imperial technology. We also know from various Star Wars media that during this time there was definitely a black market for a lot of this technology, and that many Imperials became very wealthy looking the other way and allowing for some of that old Separatist and Republic tech to be stolen. Very early on in the trailer we get to see the Bad Batch hiding from a couple patrol craft, and I think during that scene they're actually infiltrating a junkyard trying to track down that Separatist or Republic technology. And wouldn't it be interesting? if the Bad Batch were actually captured at the end of that episode. I mean, surely something that was going to pay off their debt to Sid would be pretty risky. And during that second episode, it's really revealed to them how the clones are being used by the Empire. This is where the title of that second episode comes in, Runes of War. Not only would they see all this leftover technology, the runes of the war left behind, but they would also see how it's impacting the everyday lives of the clones that they used to serve with. Well, at least that's my crazy speculation, Star Wars fans. I hope to have my review of Episode 1 and 2 of The Bad Batch Season 2 posted this Wednesday, and I'll be doing a community predictions video for Episode 3, so hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be part of that prediction video. That said, I'm Mike, and as always, remember, the Force will be with you, always.